guys going on? I'm and welcome back to another Moonrise Reveal Reaction video. Today, we have a pretty interesting one. Uh, we have the Blister Pack Reveal. We also have some Hollow Spirit Reveals. So, I don't think there's going to be any functionally new cards in here, like cards with effects. I think we've also gone through every single card, uh, base card, like just a brand new card based... I don't know, really know what I'm saying. We've gone through basically everything in this set. We know all the contents, with the exception of like Full Arts... Uh, some sellers, stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure we actually do have, um, we, we have every functional new Elestral and Rune in uh, Moonrise on the Collect website. So if you want to go to collect.elestrals.com, check out all the new cards. Um, once we are done with um, this whole, what am I trying to say? Once we're done with the whole Moonrise reveals, uh, I will be once again going through um, the card list and the turn and looking over uh, all the cards and basically giving a quick overview um, of Moonrise, like I did with Frostfall and Daybreak. We're going to be doing the exact same thing with Moonrise. So uh, strap yourselves in for that one once we are done. I don't know exactly when that's coming out. Probably late November is when I'm going to record it. I cannot guarantee you that I um, am going to be able to upload it by then, but we'll try. We will in fact try. But that's beside the point. Let's get straight on into the next video. Uh, this is the Blister Pack video, which I, I have already said. Nothing I want to point out. In the leak that happened a while back of Moonrise, we actually got all the Blister Packs. We know what's in these Blister Packs. Unless, for whatever reason, they've changed them. Uh, if they haven't changed them or anything like that, then we will know what's in them. We have three Blister Packs. We have um, Owloon. We have Havo Cub. And we have Werepup as the uh, Stellar Blister Packs. We don't know anything about the spirits, though. The Hollow Spirits, I should say. So let's see what we got. We're down to the final 10 days of our Moonrise Reveals as we count down until pre-orders open on November 15th. Get excited. I've got a ton of awesome stuff to show you guys today. So let's dive in. There we go. And I'm going to... I think there's one thing I want to talk about as well. I think he's probably going to say it right here in the intro. So let's see. Don't forget, we've got a playlist for all of these reveals. If you want to Maybe relive not. them or Hang if you on. missed any of them, in the description below. And you can always go to collect.elestrals.com to see all the cards revealed. We have yep. actually been updating that. So be sure to check that out. Also, make sure you guys get your subscription in for Shattered Stars Scorpio, which just Absolutely. has so many amazing cards, including <laughs> Full Art Mount Olympus, Full Art Arc Live, Reverse Stellar Jolton, and much, much more, including our brand new Some Constellation. Good stuff. Guys, some good stuff. Let's go. So good. With every brand new Elestral set comes a new set of eight. Of Interesting. So he's actually not going to talk about it. Um, maybe he talked about it in the last video. I just don't remember. Guys, the Elestral's Clash Kickstarter has come to a close. Uh, and we have some interesting stuff in there. So we have finally, we have finalized the Elestral's Clash Kickstarter with a grand total of $555,000. We hit the Stellar Eddie Buddy and uh, Shipwreck uh, Field, um, we hit that. We did not hit Spectator Mode Creator Codes. Um, there was also a couple of things in the future that I didn't think we were gonna get to based on the rate at which we were going. Um, we, d we weren't able to hit 600,000, 600, 600, which was the Spectator uh, Mode and Creator Code stuff. Uh, we were not able to hit that, sadly enough. Uh, I expect those to be added at one point in the in the future, but probably not going to be out at launch. You know what? That's fine. That's cool. That's whatever. Awesome. The one other thing that we didn't hit that we knew about, uh, which I was looking forward to, but um, I didn't honestly think it was going to happen. $750,000 was Nintendo Switch. If we hit that, we would have had this game on Nintendo Switch. We didn't end up hitting that. Hopefully, we can see that in the future. There was also a one million one that looked weird. It was like a blurred out picture. I don't know what that was, but you know what? That's beside the point. Let's just get into the video now. <laughs> Eat amazing spirit arts, and man, oh man, did we go all out on these ones. These are some on. of my favorite yet. You guys are not ready. Each one of these spirit arts depicts our incredible elemental spirits, and it's actually got the different moon phases progressing behind them, the lunar phases, much like our incredible lunar titled cards. They're going to be evolving and progressing through the phases That's of the moon actually as you really go cool. through like the different that, elemental yeah. order. Absolutely stunning. And i got to give a big shout out to moms who crush these. And don't Let's forget, go, these moms. are all going to be available as a hollow pull as well. So ah, nice, get these beautiful nice. comments in every okay, single that's cool. pack. 
but you'll have a chance to get one hollow spirit generally one per box and these are ones that you got to collect them all man they are so <laughs> good kicking it off we've got Aloon, the lunar spirit right, with that full moon I like the so Aloon. shifting to rat I, I i think i prefer the daybreak Aloon a little bit more but it's a more like cartoony look these guys i kind of like the more i don't even really know how to say it it looked like a stencil ish kind of look like a painted look uh, I think I like that a little bit more in Daybreak, but it's still obviously not bad arts. Tarantulas It's here. on a branch. We've got like Bob myself, Pyro staring tarantulas. up outside of a broken down Coliseum and so Leviathan far. jumping through the waves. I, I Let's just, go. Leviathan one, man. I love Leviathan. I, every single Leviathan art that I see is just so freaking good, so man. So good. <laughs> Zapter looking elegant as ever oh, as nice, Blackers yeah. gently glides through a night summer's breeze. Flurmon just hanging out in a tree looking <laughs> super good and Luminate on top of the Temple of the Sun. I love Flurmon. Yeah, just I'm in a tree, guys. I'm in Tree. Hey, I'm shocked they didn't put Luminate in the tree. Got something stuck in my mouth. We're good now. I hope we're good at the very least. Um, Flurmine, Luminate. Yeah, uh, th these are cool. These are very, very uh, good artworks. I, uh, obviously, Moms is one of the uh, uh, best artists in the community. I still think Elite Four is the best, but you can't, I can't really compare people to other people because the art is just insane. Um, I really like these. They, they, these all like, hit very well, I think. Um, I... The the thing that's sort of keeping me astray from these card arts is the cartoony-esque look. I don't really know exactly what card art they're kind of going for, but every single... There's a bunch of artworks that do look very different to each other in this game, and obviously with different artists, that's going to happen. Um, and it's I feel like there's a conflicting theme among among all the artists. I feel like they should come to like one consensus of a theme, um, and just make all the art like that. Besides, that's beside the point, though. Well, that's not beside the point. But um, th these card arts are cool. I just feel like they're kind of... Maybe it will be a little bit better when I, like, compare it to another one because I don't have any of the other, like, spirit arts in front of me. Um, but they these spirit arts seem to be a little bit more cartoony than the uh, Daybreak ones. Um, and therefore, I'm uncertain... I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but essentially there's conflicting themes in a lot of spirit arts and maybe that's what they're going for. Maybe they're going for different themes with all the spirit, uh, with basically every single spirit art that we come across. And if that's the case. That's cool. I don't mind that. Um, but I feel like you're trying, they're somewhat trying to get all the artists to focus on like one specific theme. Um, Maybe the spirits is the exception to that. I don't really know. They've never really spoken about like the art direction of Elestrals. Beside the point, though, that just just as an aside, these artworks are good. They are very, very good. Uh, I just am com a little confused that there is a bit of a like, conflicting theme in the in different artworks. Um, and to be fair, I've mostly only seen it in spirits, so that's kind of what they're going for. Basically, each uh, set will have. Um, a different theme to the spirits. Like, this is a more cartoony look. Daybreak was a more stylistic look. Stuff like that. Then that's cool, you know? Enjoying the sun about to notes. rise. That is your spirits, man. They are so good. Mom's and the totally hollow spirits. cooked on these. Now, as always, with a new set, nice we have new blister packs. We're rocking with three amazing blister packs you guys yeah, can pick up. These are going to be at $6.99 MSRP, actually, which means they're going to come with a promo the card. And they're going to come with a pack as well. And i got to say, big props to our team for upgrading the packaging. These do come in little sleeves, so they stay nice and flat in the packaging. I think you guys are going to love them. Oh, We've got sick. two promo okay, Alestrals and one promo Spirit. Let's kick it off with Stellar Alloon. This Stellar Alloon is incredible. I don't yeah, know how you don't about just this. immediately this want to grab 20 insane. of these to deck <laughs> out and bling out your spirit deck. I, I might have a lot to, of these you know? I might have to. Element. They are so good. And let me tell you, casters, these next two cards, you do not want to miss out on as well. Make yeah, sure you pick up a play set of these. The first Havoc one is Comalis with the oh, red Oh, it was Comalis. No. What was Hav What Didn't Havoc Hub? Or did Wear Pup get a Stellar somewhere else that I'm not remembering? I don't know. It was Comalis. That is correct. I do remember it being Comalis. I thought it was Wear Pup and... Um, or, oh. Was Wear Pup... Was Werp of Stellar in the starter deck? I honestly don't remember. I literally do not remember. Um, but Comalis, nice. <laughs> Moon, this Comalis is nuts, man. One of our craziest arts yet. You do not this want to miss this, this card's gonna be crazy. This card is going to be so good. It's the main next to the this, this card is going to be played in uh, all different brews of Pharaoh, Pharaoh Geist, dude. Pharaoh Geist is, might be a problem. 
for being honest, with Comalis in the game. Pharaoh Geist is going to be crazy. That's true, looter. It allows you to search oh, out man. those spectral lustrals, so you can search out Posthumous, you can search out Pharaoh Geist, you there can search it is. out Spectres. Yeah. A lot of really cool targets for that, even you know, carry off. You want to know what's something, something that's insane? The one card art that I've been looking forward to is Full Art Pharaoh Geist, and it's the one card art that I have yet to pull. It's the one box topper I haven't... Now, to be fair, I haven't gotten that many box toppers. I think I've gotten two... I think I've only gotten two boxes, maybe three of Daybreak. I'm not entirely certain. Um, and I pulled from that a Celestial and a... My fir very first one was a Chronodile. I've yet to pull the Pharaoh Geist. I want the freaking Pharaoh Geist, man! You can search. Luckily, I'm getting a lot more booster boxes with my uh, Clash pre-order. I'm going to get six booster boxes. So if you guys want to see that opening when that stuff arrives, let me know because, I mean, that's probably not going to have to happen until like May, if I'm being entirely honest, because I think I think that stuff's being delivered in March and I'm not going to be home for March I'm, because I'm going to be in school. I'm probably not going to be able to open that up until May. So if you guys do want to see that, though, let me know. Um, so yeah. Oh, let's yeah, start. Really there we awesome. Go. A lot of cool stuff you can do with Comalis. And then next Stellar Blister yeah, this is card's be crazy. Stellar Wear Pup. And I don't it know about y'all, but Lunar What was Havoc Cup? Didn't didn't we get a Stellar Havoc Cup somewhere? I'm confused. Your phase decks are gonna I'm be confused. super fun. Play in Moonrise. Like a Void is gonna be super epic to explore. So I highly recommend you pick up three Stellar Wear Pup blisters when those pre-orders open. Because you're gonna want the play set. You're gonna run three of them in your deck, just like you'll probably run three Comalis together. So this is the blister pack that you definitely want to get. Probably, get a play set yeah. But what was the these are What's so Havo Cup? A promo you Was Havo, is, do not want to miss. Is Havo Cup just a normal stellar? I literally do not remember, so, man. I'm Don't so forget confused. to get in on Shattered Stars Scorpio because Shattered Stars members do get early access to pre-ordering Moonrise. So Moonrise pre-orders open on November 15th. But if you're Shattered Stars, you get it the day before on the 14th, 14th which is the big go. secret. Super awesome. So make sure you guys subscribe to Shattered Stars. Thank you guys again for all your support on the Illustrals Clash Kickstarter. And I'll be back tomorrow with another epic reveal. Okay, real quick. So obviously not much in this video in terms of new cards. Um, but I do quickly want to go to the Collect website just to see if... I want to make sure I'm not going crazy. I want to check on Stellar Havo Cup. I swear that was the thing. All right, so here we are. Let's scroll through. Fast McCore carry off. This is like all the new... No, we don't have any of the Stellars in here. Th these are all the brand new cards that are coming. Man, I don't know. I'm so... so ha Freaking Havo Cub. Rarity. Unknown. That's not good. We can actually look through the rarities here. That's cool. I didn't even realize that. It's an Olestral. That's... No. I'm so... Was it Pulveror got a Stellar? I'm confused. Guys, I'm, am I going crazy? I swear to you, Havocub got a Stellar. I swear to you, it did. <laughs> Do I need to go back to the leak? To the, to the website that leaked all this? Because like, I don't know. I'm so confused. There's some full arts. We don't see any Stellars on here, though. That's so weird. Oh, serial, oh serialized Stellars. Um, carry off. No! Am I going crazy? No, guys, no. Listen, listen. I'm taking this all the way to the top. I'm going back to the leaked website. All right, here we are. I swear to you, we had Stellar Havo Cub. Ah, ah, ah. Each starter deck has a chance for a reverse Stellar Havo Cub or Bandaloon. It was a part of the starter decks. Okay, reverse Stellar Havo Cub. Has this, has this been revealed? I swear to you, this was revealed and I just don't remember it. Um, maybe. Okay, hang on. Hang on. What if, let's go sets, was it, oh, can we not look at the, can we not look at the starter decks here? Oh, that's weird. We can't look at the starter decks. Okay, one more place to go to. Hang on. When all else fails, go to, no, because when I click cards, it just sends us here. We can't look at the starter decks anymore. How could you? How could you guys? I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Oh my goodness! Well, guys, that's I guess that's it. Um, I wasn't going so I wasn't going that crazy, but I was going a little crazy, and now I'm I'm confused. Whatever, it's fine. I'll leave myself with my weird little thoughts. That, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you slap the like button, subscribe for more. Hope to see you all guys in the next video. Goodbye.